everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween because I am actually recording this on Halloween, believe it or not. And today we're gonna continue watching Supernatural. We are in season four and in episode three and I'm very excited to finally get to continue watching this. If you are new here, hello, welcome in. My name is Cora. It is so lovely to have you here. I'm also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you want to check the gaming content out, you can click the link up here. And if you want to come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link to that is down below in the description box. And if you're not new, welcome, welcome back. So, first off, I just want to say sorry for being late with this video. I caught two colds within one month. It has been terrible. I have not been able to do much, so I've just been trying my best to, you know, lay down in the sofa, eat well, drink a lot of tea, and try to, like, regain my strength. So I'm really sorry that this is late. I could not even sit at my PC. This is basically the first time that I'm sitting at my PC since I got sick the second time. So here we are. I'm finally back in my PC. This feels really weird because I haven't really recorded. I haven't what? Well, I haven't recorded anything. I haven't sat on my PC. And I haven't really talked to a lot of people because I was isolating myself because I wasn't feeling well. And um, we're back. So I'm sorry this is late, but I feel like the video would not have been good. You would barely have been able to hear what I said. I didn't have any energy. So there was really nothing I could do. I caught two colds within one month. Life freaking sucks sometimes. Um, and that's about it. So I'm sorry I'm late. And it this wrap up is probably going to be a little bit less. It's going to make less sense because it's been longer time between me watching the episode. So I'll do my best. I hope you understand. And also for those who did say get well soon and like sent all of the sweet messages on my post. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I'm sure that, that was a part of helping me get better. In the last episode, we get to see a hunter who is being haunted by, well, ghosts that they've seen before. And not just ghosts, well, ghosts of people they've seen before. Not just any people. The hunters are being haunted by the ghosts of people that they could not save. If that is not a terrifying nightmare, I do know, I don't know what is. Seriously, absolutely terrifying. We get to see that, we get to see sort of like, it, it kind of hints to it. It's not clear, but you, we see the first hunter, she's being haunted by these two ghosts. And it's clear that they met before and you kind of get this inkling that like, that's probably what it is. We scooch back to Sam, Dean and Bobby trying to figure everything about angels out. And well, I feel like Bobby and Sam are pretty convinced that yes, they are real. This is the only thing that makes sense. Even though Dean, you, like, Dean has a lot of reasons why he thinks that there shouldn't be an angel. I feel like it's getting quite clear that that is the only option. Like, that is the only thing it could be, is an angel. And whilst they're trying to figure this out, they get this call about... Well, well no, actually. Bobby calls an old friend to ask her about the angels. This is the person we see in the beginning of the episode. They go there to check in on her and they find her with um, her whole rib cage opened up. Uh, which is very terrifying. You can see Bobby is very, like, it's really hard for him to see one of his long, like long time hunter friends like that, obviously terrible. And they're trying to call other hunters around. They're coming to the conclusion that no hunters in the area are picking up. They're going around like separately, trying to check in on people, finding several hunters all dead. Same thing, rib cage to open up, like it's terrifying. They go back to Bobby, say like, okay, we gotta we gotta go back to base and figure this out. Then they themselves start getting hunted. And they get separated from each other and Bobby disappears. He gets kidnapped by kids. <laughs> and it's really terrifying. And who turns up in the midst of all this? Well, the first one is actually Hendrickson. The police F mm, FBI officer. FBI dude who was hunting down the Winchesters. He shows up. 
in his dead form and says, it's all your fault that I am dead. You should have known that Lilith was going to kill us, blah, blah, blah. They have this fight. D uh, Sam and him has this... I'm so sorry. Sam and Hendrickson has this fight in a gas station bathroom. Dean comes in, shoots him with a salt gun. They get out of there. They get back to the base. Bobby is gone. They cannot find Bobby. So they go separate ways trying to find him. And that's when Dean ends up meeting Meg. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, the Meg. 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 Like, and it even took me like, <laughs> it's funny because I see her and I'm like, Huh? I really recognize her. Am I making this up? I'm really recognizing her. But she looked so different with the hair, not that much makeup, and also just like the way she was acting. Because obviously when we met Meg, it was a demon inside of her, which is a completely different person than the real Meg. And now we actually get to meet the real Meg. And it's just wild and she obviously blames them as well like you should have known that there was a young girl in there you still threw me out of a freaking building there is so much more that you could have done and it's horrible to watch and they always do try to do their best maybe they don't always succeed in making the right choices but at least they're trying to do something in this world where basically no one knows that this stuff exists and it's just terrible while well, Sam is trying to look for Bobby and Bobby is taken capture by these two little twin, I think they're twins, girls. At least I'm sure they're siblings that he could not save, which is obviously terrible having seen children in a supernatural like position where they have to be saved but you're not managing to. I'm sure that took a huge toll on Bobby. Sam managed to save him, they managed to get Dean from Meg, and they're locking themselves into this bunker to first deal with the freaking problem at hand. That being hunt haunted, hunted and haunted by freaking ghosts of their past of people they couldn't save. So they do figure out that it is something that I, I think... Are they called like witnesses? I have forgotten what they were called. No worries, I will figure that out after I've recorded this. It's basically one of the first steps of the apocalypse. Great. Lovely. Amazing. And that freaking sucks. So they need to redo the spell of the first person who released them to throw them back in like so they can go back to rest and not go around being uneasy uh, like ghosts because we we want them to have their peace so you know they managed to do that it is this whole debacle and they're like trying to figure this all out whilst this is happening and why is this happening they do manage to throw them back they go to bed and in i think in dean's dream he actually meets castiel again i do think it's like it's not a dream as in like it didn't happen because I think it happened I just think it happened whilst he slept so like in his dream in a sense but it was like a real not 100% sure but anyway he meets Castiel again whilst they're all asleep and Castiel is like great job on those uh, gores gg good game like <laughs> and, so, and then Dean is like you could have helped us you could have helped us what where the fuck were you if there is a god if you're a freaking angel like he goes on this whole rant which is completely understandable like why are you not helping us if this is all true because he still finds it hard to believe that this is true and Castiel is like we're trying okay we're a, we're we're not like an unlimited amount of angels and like holy troops going around here I'm an angel, an angel is a soldier, and we, I have lost so many friends in this freaking start of the apocalypse. He also tells him that it's Lilith who awakened all of those ghosts, and that the apocalypse is truly starting, and they're having this conversation, and I think the way that Castiel spoke to Dean maybe made him realize a little bit more that, okay, this is probably actually happening. This is probably actually an angel ish that's actually telling me about the apocalypse and this freaking stinks he wakes up he asks sam like D do you really think that like angels could be real and sam's like yeah i do i do seriously believe that they are and it kind of ends off there but i feel like it kind of shows that dean is seriously considering this to be real and that we are in a bit of a pickle 
with the apocalypse starting. And I'm very eager to see where this is gonna go. So, without further ado, <laughs> and after this very bad wrap up of the episode, let's get into the next one! Oh, I was gonna ask why he's gonna leave, but then I remembered Ruby. He's leaving to go see Ruby, isn't he? Isn't he gonna eventually notice Sam sneaking out? Is he pretending to sleep? Okay, maybe not. I feel like that'll be a typical Dean thing to do. That he'd notice that Sam started sneaking out and like because Sam wouldn't have the conversation, he'd just sneak and like follow him to check what's actually going on. Ready? Definitely. I get why Sam is doing this. I do. I just really bloody hate that it has to be done behind each other's backs. Oh my god, that's really scared me. I mean, he's gonna notice that Sam's gone so- oh my god, sometimes. <laughs> That's not creepy at all, you're just sitting on the side of his bed. Watching other people sleep. What do you want? Are we having a There's twilight situation here? Yeah, exactly. D is he referring to Ruby? Move it, buddy. You can't sleep here. Okay. Sleep where? Anywhere but here. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, how is he on a bench sleeping now? Is he showing him the future or just did he just show him where Sam is or something? This is freaky AF. No signal. What? Where is he? Did he send him back in time or something? I feel like that bench is supposed to be a clue. But that bench tells me nothing apart from something being sugar-free. Hey, where the hell am I? Jaybird's diner. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, uh, city and state. I feel like that's a weird question to ask someone, Lawrence, though. Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence. Are you okay, buddy? Wait, that's where they grew up, right? Tough night. <laughs> Tough night. Hey, uh, <laughs> coffee here, Reg? He's like, you gotta get him this man a coffee. He doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> USS Enterprise. Yeah, you should probably realize by now that. You know, Sonny and Cher broke up, right? <laughs> Sonny and Cher broke up. Oh, he's like, what? This he's traveled back in time. <laughs> he's like, hang on a minute. This is not adding up. This is where they were born, right? Thank Lord for the newspapers when it comes to time traveling. 73. Wait, was Manchester. Sam born 73, maybe? Son of a bitch. Is that what he's talking about? <gasps> is that what he's talking about? Wait. Dad. Well, say hello to your old man for me. You got it, Mr. D. Wait, that's their... Th We know each other. Well, um, kind of, yeah, um, maybe not yet. Oh, wait, okay, so maybe they... My math is not mathing currently, because I don't remember what year it is in the show. But I'm wondering if... Oh, God. He, like... Oh, imagine meeting your parents before they've had you, because with this... Well, he might be born. He might not be. This might be before they were born, actually. Both of them. Because I'm assuming that Castiel is talking about stopping whatever happens to Sam with the yellow eyed demon and stuff. <gasps> In the beginning? He's like stalking his own dad. I cannot. Oh, this is going to be an interesting episode. Frick. Oh, my own. What does it look like? Is it real? Very. Time is fluid, Dean. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. But tell me what the hell I'm doing here. I told you. You have to stop it. Yeah, but you didn't say what exactly. Do you have to my dad? Uh, I think it's um a little more complicated. Oh my god. Oh, come on. What are yeah. you allergic to straight answers, you son of a bitch? I have to side with Dean here. Why didn't he just tell him what he needs to stop? How hard is that? Let's do it. I'll get the paperwork. <gasps> Wait. Is this the dad's car? This is the car he has later on then, right? Because he has a van thingy, right? You following me? Wait. 
I never got to thank you for the cup of coffee this morning. I was a little out of it. More than a little. <laughs> is, is he the one? This is the car you want. Is that oh, baby? Yeah? You, you know something about cars? Yeah. Does he end up buying baby and then... I for, I didn't really this, realize this that. They probably have said this and I forgot about it, but I'm guessing that he buys it and gives it to Dean and then gets another car. Because he, he has a van or something. You're Maybe right. not that one, though. What are you buying that thing for? Kind of promised someone I would. Over a 67 Chevy? Someone is probably your mum, Dean. I'm gonna assume. John Winchester. Thanks. Can, it feels like you shouldn't be you able to hail. talk to your... Um, thank you. People less are around you. What if that's the reason he's named Dean? Because he met him. <laughs> you didn't feel any of those cold spots, did you? Nope. I swore to smell something weird, too, you know, like like rotten eggs. Didn't happen to smell any sulfur by chance. No. No. This is before he's a hunter, right? Mutilations in town. Okay, it? mister, stop it. Uh, he's like, yep, yeah, okay. Listen, uh, watch out for yourself, okay? Yeah. Sure. I feel like it, oh god, this is gonna be so strange. I'm assuming he does get the car and that's how Dean gets it, but I'll see all this happen. I'll take this one. <laughs> Coming with the papers for the other car, he's like, nah, 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 I'ma have this one. Oh my god, Dean, you. <laughs> Why does it look so funny seeing him in a different car? And like a car like that just looks wrong. What's this? She's like, uh. What happened to the van? Mary, this is better than the van. It's got a 327, a four barrel carburetor. Yeah, oh. he's seeing his parents. I cannot even begin to understand how hard it must be seeing as he's lost both Tell of them as well. You are. Mom is a babe. <laughs> Dean, you did well. not just say that. Yeah, you. <laughs> He's gonna go to hell again. I can't. Oh my god. I mean, she's gorgeous, me. but hook up with the, the way Dean says it. No. Wait. So her dad didn't want them to get together. Interesting. Those milkshakes look so good. Can I have one? Oh, is this when he's gonna propose? Why are you following us? Oh my god. Oh my lord, Mary! I want to see your son! <laughs> she doesn't know that, of course. The trail is into my house. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Um, yeah. So how about we talk about this, huh? Let me go! Wait, so she knew stuff before? Are you a hunter? Was his mama hunter too? I can so see that. I didn't see it coming, but I can so see that. Oh my god. Before their dad was ever one. Okay, that's wild. That's why she noticed that he was tailing them, because she's on edge from being a hunter, I suppose. I'm not sure you should come in. You can trust me. I mean, come on, we're all hunters, right? I mean, we're, we're practically family. <clears throat> Practically, technically, 100% family. Tell me something, Mr. Hunter. You kill vampires with wooden stakes or silver? Neither. You cut their heads off. Thought I'd pass your test? Oh my god, please let not her like him too much. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't trust other hunters, Dean. Don't want their help. Don't want them around my family. Knock it off, Samuel. We passed your little pop quiz, and now I'm inviting him to dinner. He's like meeting his grandparents. Samuel and Dean? Really? First time it's in like, Lawrence, huh. Well, been a while. Do we know what happened to them? You're working a job? I'm assuming it's her, her parents and yeah, then maybe. his grandparents, right? I don't trust other hunters either, Samuel. Okay, so they're a little like each other. But he's also just following what he's doing. I thought something was after your, you know, your boyfriend. But um, I don't think that anymore. John Winchester mixing it up with spirits. Can you imagine? Oh, hold on. John's a really, really nice, naive civilian. Naive <laughs> civilian? So he doesn't like other a guy like this? hunters. No, no. 
Right. But also, oh, yeah, this is... He doesn't want to be with other hunters, but he also doesn't want to be with naive civilians. Make that make sense. He's working a job on the Witchire farm. What does that name sound familiar to me? That's when his crops are all dead. Demonic omens? That's what I gotta find out. Is that why he works there? Web of information that you have assembled. Web of information. He's like, you don't have the web. You know, it sounds to me like we might be hunting the same thing. You know, if we go in there in numbers, we'll take care of this real quick. What part of we work alone do you not understand, son? I guess it was even more so before. I mean, hunters do still seem to mainly work alone in their day too, but... They even do the little dress up pretends. Uh, where are you going? To do the job, Dad. It's so strange seeing it. Like, I can so see her being a hunter though. But like her whole family and everything. Father? I see you beat me here. The Lord is funny that way. Seth Witchire, this is my associate, our senior senior priest. <laughs> and how normal and ordinary things were the day before his death. So you didn't notice anything unusual, man? You mean like my husband's guts fertilizing the back 40? Excuse me. <laughs> I love the Dean beat him to it. It's funny. Charlie, would you like to tell the father here what you just told me? Ooh. What is he gonna say? He looks terrified. Sometimes he got rough with mom. That's no. when the stranger came. I just thought he was some Bible thumper. Saying what? Did I want the beatings to stop? Oh, that's interesting. The next thing I know, Dad's dead. Saying you want the beatings to stop and your dad did dead is want? two very Hope different he things. He didn't want anything. He did say something about coming a call in ten years from now. Ten years. That is such a rude trick. I know they're demons, probably, but... He just pimped his soul to a demon. He yeah. Because they don't even understand. It's like, do you want this to stop? Yes. Okay, I'll come calling in ten years. To grab your soul is the part that they admit, right? It's about 5'10". White. He was kind of normal looking, really. It's just the light hit his eyes in a weird way. Okay. Just... I could have sworn. What, that they were black? Or red, maybe? No. Yellow. They were yellow. Yeah, I freaking knew it is the yellow one demon. I knew it was about this. Ha. So you would just slow down and talk this I wonder if uh be Oh my lord, their mom just chopping those bananas real quick. This thing killed my family. Just calm down, son. You don't get it, do you? I mean you are in danger. We are all in danger. In fact, you need to get yourself someplace safe. That's right, Dean. It could be a demon, it could be a shapeshifter, any number of Did he just say Sam? Oh my god, I didn't even con they probably said that before. He's called Sam. Is Sam named after him? He has Colt's gun. The Colt. Yeah, I heard about the Colt. Used to tell it to Mary's a bedtime story. Oh, it's real. It is very real. Oh God, this is so tricky. Seeing all of this happen before it happens, and him not being able what? to be like, actually, Never I'm your future family. In contact with the yellow-eyed demon. Who, where, and when? Why? The more he can learn about the son of a bitch, the more he can figure out why he killed my mom. I wonder if her being tangled up with this with her dad and everything is what kind of led to it. Like, she's she is also working on this case, right? How the hell is that on your dad's list? My dad could see the future. Yeah, that's the easiest way to explain it, right? It's very good that he has the book, though. I know you guys think I'm crazy. You seem like a really nice kid, Dean, but yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's hard because he cannot explain. Like, hey, actually, I'm your grandson from the future. That's my mom in your room up there. And, um, yeah, my, my, my mom got killed because of this. And that is my mom. And, like, this is just very complicated. I just wanted to say bye. Really? So soon? Yeah, well, job It's kind of cool how she got to see her son all grown up, in a sense, without knowing. She seems to like him. And that's good. Doesn't matter what your dad thinks. I like that John kid. You did. Kid? Did you just call his dad a kid? <laughs> Who am I to be? Hell, I'm depending on it. What? Nothing. You, you kind of are, yup. <laughs> What's he like, John? I guess he wants to know what, how his dad was before all it happened. He's sweet. 
He seems sweet. Kind. Back here. Very Even sweet. after the war, after everything, he still believes in happily ever after. He's everything a hunter isn't. Yeah. No offense. No, I'm digging. <laughs> kind of weird knowing that he becomes a very big hunter after that. He's gonna ask me to marry him. That's gonna explode. But I don't care. I'll run away if I have to. I don't want her to need to do I that love though. John and She's already pregnant, isn't she? I don't wanna get out. Oh, okay. This job, <laughs> this life. That is more fair. Well, both is very fair, but why did I jump to that conclusion already? I think it's just because Dean is there and I was I like, <laughs> Yeah. I want to be safe. I'm sure she did her best to make it stay that way for them. You know the worst thing I can think of, the very worst thing, is for my children to be raised into this like I was. Oh no, don't say that! I mean, what happened? <gasps> oh no, that is exactly what happened though. Oh my god, I am so sorry. You okay? Yeah. I know, I'm so sure she did her best, but... Oh, God. Even if this sounds really weird, will you promise me that you will remember? Okay. Oh, my God, I can't watch this! This November is making me want to... 1983. Don't get out of bed. What you hear or what you see. Can he really change I that, though? Don't get out of bed. But it's her child. No matter what Dean says, Sam's in that room and she hears something. She's no oh. God. 83 is quite a long while until then, huh? Oh, this is breaking my heart. Fudge. It's so hard not to cry. Oh, God's my co-pilot, is that it? Tell me something. Sam would have wanted in on this. Why not bring him back? You had to do this alone, Dean. Why though? I mean I that he's you're not gonna the tell him? For me right now. Sam's not looking for you. If I do this, then the family curse breaks, right? Mom and dad live happily ever after. It's not, yeah. Your father, you, Sam, you'll never become hunters. And all those people you saved, they'll die. But what is it that he wants you? What, why is he here? What do you want him to do then, huh? He knows that he's been through care. this. He's been through this, don't you dare say that. He's been through this whole thing before even seeing, feeling what his life could be. I'm not gonna let them die again. I can't. Why are you putting him through this? What is it that I'm you want him to stop? It. Is it just a yellow eye demon? But not stopping anything else that happens? Because I know that Dean wants to stop this really badly, but he also knows the consequences of stopping this. It's absolutely horrifyingly terrible. Oh, he found the gold. Hold it right uh -oh. there, friend. Drop the gun. Be on your way. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to explain. Why did he even sit there like... Can't do it, Daniel. I just need it for a few days. It's to save my family's lives. Well, I don't think... It sucks because I think it's more to it that, like, Castiel wants him to do this isn't it. But he's also not telling... Dean, he's putting him through this heartache once more and he's not telling him why exactly he wants him to be here and what he wants him to stop. I don't understand that. The Campbells. Never heard of them. That's where she'll be. That's where she'll be? Kill a demon. That's impossible. Yep. He wants to hunt, she doesn't want to hunt. Is this some female time of month thing? Female time a month thing. That's the best you could get. It's metastasized. Where? His liver, his lungs. You have to do something, Dr. Brown. There is one way. Oh gosh, wait. Just in ten years, I'm going to come to you and ask. This is. He's a demon. Nothing you'll miss. It's not helping. <gasps> is this... Is this how his granddad dies or something? Please, please tell me that's not it. 
he went through with the they already have the contract that he or did she say yes freak oh there where the hell have they been hiding you and that's her friend i like you you've got a lot of spunk oh is this her fighting him is that what leads to all of this let her go where'd you get that gun Okay, he escapes the body, of course, so he can't use the gun. That poor dude is now dead as well. Amazing, and now they have to explain to her say? friend. I told you, just that he liked me. What did he mean by that? Yeah, that's no good. Are you okay? No, Dad, I'm pretty far from okay. Can we go? Is that why everything happened? Take the compliment, son. I'm saying that I was wrong about you. We need to talk yeah. alone. Holy flip, this, this is hard to see. Dies. What? How do you know that? I just do. Oh. What are you, some kind of a psychic now, too? Uh. How do you. Are you is he gonna actually explain this to him? Oh, I hate this. This is gonna sound massively, massively crazy. Mary is my mother. Excuse me. And I am your grandson. And my real <laughs> name is Dean Winchester. This is must be. I, I would be even. Oh, gosh. Hearing this must be so hard to believe, even as a hunter. And he gets away, then Mary dies. Oh my god, and John doesn't know anything. Of course I did. <gasps> Are they gonna get oh my god. Are they gonna do that before every <gasps> And he's not gonna be able to save her, is that it? I mean, this is so complicated because if he saves her, the life of them is not gonna be the same and like it's oh god. I'm not making this up, Samuel. Something about you, I can't shake it. I may be crazier than you, son, but I believe you. You got him to believe him. That's wild. And with the cold? I for a second thought that someone had taken the cold and he wasn't gonna find him in his jacket. Sorry, I don't let anybody hold it. Nothing personal. Sure it is. Oh, but maybe he doesn't believe him. Out. No way. He got into his granddad's body. Was that how it was originally, or did that get added because Dean started messing in this because Castiel freaking put him here? Oh my god, this just keeps getting worse. I don't like it. I don't like it. I kill your mommy? That's why you came all this way to see little old me. I came here to kill you. Well, he does eventually, so. That slut marries your mommy, are you? Did you just say that? Are you one of my no. psychic kids? Oh, he had the plan already. Oh, oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, that's so scary. No, not you. Oh, that's really freaky. We got a sis or a bro. That's terrific. A sis or a bro? Does what the frick was out? with that line? Oh, it's why I'm here. Oh my god, he's terrifying. He really these changed. That actor is doing an amazing job. You don't want these people's souls. No, you just want their children. That's why he said he liked her. Because they're strong. Oh, the grandma's doing there. Oh gosh. Master race. They're ideal readers. Get your mind out of the gutter. No one's breeding with me. Man, I'd like to make an exception. Don't. You're in the body of her dad talking to her son saying stuff like this is disgusting. I need, uh. I need to be invited into their houses. I know, I know. The red table drive you nuts. You know what I'm gonna do to your sibling? And I'm gonna bleed into Yeah, I know you're going to do that. In vitamins, minerals, it makes you big and strong. Is that your big plan? Please. The way you said please. Bigger than that, kid. Endgame. What endgame? Like I'm gonna tell you. I wish we could know his full plan, Angels. but yeah. Sitting on your shoulder? No. Huh? What do you mean, Angel sitting on his shoulder? Does he know? Now that I'd like to see. Maybe not today. But you look into my eyes, you son of a bitch, because I'm the one that kills you. But if he knows that, is... Oh, God, how did he not see that coming in the future, then? So you're gonna save everybody, is that right? Is that it? Oh my God, no. I feel so scared for his grandma. Your grandpappy. <gasps> oh my God, he kills his... God. No, his grandparent, but just 
He gets a washable guy, isn't he? Oh, fudge, you know. Oh my god, badass grandma right there. It had to be his, in his granddad's body as well. This freaking sucks. Oh, and he's gone. Like he hasn't been through enough. Bud Jing hell. Cassio, could you not just tell him, please? There's things you don't know about me, John. So, I will always love you for exactly who you are. He really will. What did I tell you? Dad! Sir, just listen! How is he even using the body? <gasps> Wait a second, what the actual... Him. How? No, wait. Mommy and daddy too. Wait, but how? If he's dead, then how is this? This is making me so confused. Kill you? I swear to God. Oh, let's not get nasty. It's um. Uh... I don't like this. Kiss and make up. You're in his da her dad's body, okay? Holy and you're death. dead. Lover boy here brought back breathing. What did he just say? She makes a deal you to get John back. Ever. The white picket fence, station wagon, a couple of kids. Wait, she knew she was gonna die that night. She didn't know about Sam and the baby. Th oh. What? And all it costs is my soul. Oh no, you can keep your soul. I just need permission. For what? Mm, ten years, I need to swing by your house for a little something, that's all. For what? So she didn't actually sell her soul, but she didn't know that she sold her son to him, technically. Is that how all of this went down? Your life. Desperate. Oh, Janelle. I hate this so much. Good deal. <laughs> so what do you say? She should know it's a demon she's talking to, but... I feel like there is no way she could have known. No, 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 no. You literally meant that. I thought that maybe he didn't mean actual kissing and stuff. But now I'm confused. I thought when he said that, that he meant it. But then he talked about the rest. And I was like, oh, maybe he just said that like figuratively. And then he didn't mean that. Very. Cannot with this. Oh my god, this is making me so confused and it's making me a tiny bit sick. Cassio, are you gonna freaking explain, my man? Or did you just want to show him that you cannot change the past? Like, what are you trying to do here, my man? I'm so confused. I. Oh gosh. Care to explain now, Cassio, maybe? Potentially? Couldn't stop any of it. No. She still died in nursery, didn't she? Don't be too hard on yourself. You couldn't have stopped it. So why did you put him there? Excuse me? Destiny can't be changed, Dean. All roads lead to the same destination. Then why'd you send me back? For the truth. Now you know everything we do. Why did you say stop it then, if that was the truth? Like, if that had to happen? Well, I guess this is when he finds out that Sam sneaks out. We know what Azazel did to your brother. What we don't know is why, what his endgame is. Where's Sam? 425, water. So he's told Mother him that he should stop it. Road, Dean. But We're not sure where it leads. So stop it. That's what he meant? Stopping Sam? Did he just threaten him through his brother? Cassiel! That is not... <gasps> There is so much I need to see and say and figure out now. I'm so stressed. When- okay. Listen, when people tell- when you're in season one, you're in season two, you're in season three, and people continue to just say like, and it keeps getting better, and you, you watch these seasons, and you're like, I love this show, this is a great show, these- the actors are great, the story is good, like, I love all of these episodes, and people are just like, it's gonna get better, and you're like, how though? This show is already great, like, how is it gonna get better? 
And then you keep, you keep thinking it's not possible, right? I'm not gonna be more obsessed with this show. But then again, you <laughs> keep proving, well, you keep be proven wrong because you keep thinking, nah, that can't be right. And then you keep watching the show, right? And you keep being, dang, I didn't see this coming. Dang, the, the story is so good. I'm loving this show even more and you didn't think that was possible because like that's kind of the position I'm in currently. There are so many plot twists. I have so many questions and they keep sort of leading these questions on where I'm like, I don't understand. Why did Castiel send him back saying you have to stop it? Why couldn't he just say, I need you to see your past and see what happens? And then say, well, the reason you couldn't change anything was destiny. Like, at least that, instead of stop, because it obviously sounded like you gotta stop the yellow-eyed demon. You gotta, like, protect your family. That's kind of what he made it sound like, but that is not what he meant. But then he means he gets to stop Sam. That is the ultimate thing. And he made Dean go through meeting all of his family, watching actually three of them die. Watching his mum making out with the yellow eye demon in her granddad, well, in her dad's body, which is absolutely disturbing on so many levels. I know it's a demon we're talking about, but still. And watching her make the deal that alters all of their lives, including her own, not even knowing what she's making the deal about, is so stressful and heartbreaking. And he's already seen what life he could have had. He's already been able to see that. Even when he wanted to stay back then, he knew that if he stayed, it wouldn't be the same. And all of those lives that they've saved would be lost. He already got to go through that. Why did you have to put him through that again? Almost giving him a chance to save his family just to take that away. Like, that was really freaking hard to watch. Although I have to say, what a freaking good episode. I kept being like misled, I kept going like, my thoughts were just all over the place. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna affect Seam, Seam? Sam and Dean's relationship going on with Dean wanting to protect him, having Castiel saying all of these things and him obviously being scared for Sam, while Sam is also trying to do the right thing, talking to Ruby, who is a seemingly good demon, which is, I guess, kind of contra contradictory. I really wonder how that's gonna work, because they both have one person on each, like, they have one person on one shoulder each, telling them, this is what you gotta do to save your family, to save your brother, to save the world. Who are you gonna believe? How are they gonna be able to come together as brothers and actually sort this out if this continues? I feel like I have so many questions at this point, I don't even know how to ask them. I cannot watch, wait to watch the next episode, I love this a lot. Thank you so much for watching this with me, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're here for the long run and all of the rest of the seasons where I'm sure it's gonna be a freaking roller coaster. This season has just started, I am excited and I cannot wait to watch more. So if you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot if you gave it a thumbs up, of course comment down below your thoughts, feelings, emotions, all of that stuff and subscribe for upcoming videos. I hope your Halloween was amazing. Hope you'll have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight snack, breakfast, whichever time it is for you when you're watching this. And I'll see you very soon. Happy belated Halloween! <laughs>